Hello fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel and welcome back to the lizard infested utopia that is Ark. Now in the last episode, me and my base got stomped by a vengeful Brontosaurus Mama and as you can see I have some pretty, uh, my various bits of my base, such as it is, have been um, damaged at least uh, by said Bronto, probably that one over there in point of fact and uh, there's rather less trees around here than there used to be as well uh, in, including the massive one that I deliberately built my base near to in order that I could more easily find it again uh, so yeah uh, not too happy about that even less happy about the fact that by the time I got back to my base um, my chests and all my supplies were gone so the Brontosaurus obviously had those too. Um, so uh, very unhappy about that because basically it means I have nothing. My tools, no food, nothing, all completely gone. And all because of this thing here. We're going to get shot of that and we are never picking one up again. Now I might do if I have somewhere secure to keep it that isn't going to attract Brontosauruses because she clearly knew it was here and came and, and did for me. Uh, it wasn't even necessary then mother anyway i possibly would even have found my way back to my little thatched hut for the night if it hadn't been for the fact that literally three seconds after i finished the last episode i got killed by a spidosaurus um and uh when i respawned in i was much closer to my base so i might even have frozen to death overnight so what we're going to do today basically yeah sure i need to i need to sort of re um restock myself basically no we don't really want to do that do we that's what we want we need some berries and food um basically i'm going to get some um some basic uh equipment back again uh hello hope that i don't get owned by a, a dodo because at this stage i really honestly could um and then head for the hills really because um i'm kind of yeah, I'm not trusting the, the Brontos any longer. I'm pretty safe with that guy there, I think, but quite honestly. Uh, now, I know those spidey saurus over there, I see he's quite aggressive, he's he's going for an ank. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that yeah, we want to steer clear of those guys completely. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can get myself uh, set up with... Um, not too much weight because uh, I'm going to go nomadic till I find a suitable place to um, build myself a secure base. Thank you very much. Um, now, what, I need some thatch probably to make myself a pick. Oh, you rats, that's not what I meant. Craft a buzz. Pick. We need 10 thatch. So I'm going to have to go and punch some trees. So obviously the issue with having a persistent presence in this world is that hello hello can I grab stuff please no nope, doesn't look like it uh, is that yeah all sorts of things can happen even while you're not playing so uh, to be honest I was almost slightly surprised that I actually came back into the world and I wasn't dead so as for dino taming that seems like it's a long way off to be honest but We shall see. Okay, let's punch trees. Thatch. Two thatch. Okay, let's get some more. I can't believe how much, uh, how many trees the, the, the Brontosaurus uh, stumped out of existence while uh, she was raging through here. This isn't doing my health any good, of course. You can technically kill yourself by punching trees so much that you kill yourself, so. It's one to watch. Okay, what do we got? We have nine, okay. Ugh, one more tree. Lovely, okay, we've just got enough for a pickaxe now. Craftables, please. Give me a pickaxe. And yeah, basically, I'm going to take my pickaxe and I'm 
probably not a lot else and as I say the main thing is I want to try and find even though this is early gameplay for me it's only day four I want to find somewhere um, oh for goodness sake stop jumping backwards get up here I want to find somewhere that's relatively dino free so, so I can build a base and be sure that when I store stuff up when I, I've taken trouble to uh, store stuff up and when you know I want to I, I want to know that I come back and it's still flaming well there I don't want it getting massacred in my absence or indeed in my presence so this might be a tall order I and mean, it's a big cliff up there but I'm pretty sure that you know there's going to be dinosaurs up the cliff as well but there is a ledge there uh, that on two legs but I think it's I can't remember what they're called they've got a head of water horn on the heads uh, I think they're relative so I might check out that ledge over there in case that's going to be a likely one but as I say um, I, before I over encumber myself with anything whatsoever other than berries that I can eat I'm gonna see if I can find a location to start building again because uh, there is no point wasting resources on building stuff if dinos are just gonna blast it even the vegetarian ones so, just need to see it's so pretty, but kind of inconveniently filled with large killer lizards. So yeah, this ledge here, I mean, it's not like dinosaurs can't reach it because they absolutely are going to be able to. And obviously I've just shifted areas, so I don't know what's going to spawn here anyway. funny I guess this kind of makes you think a bit like a primitive person would have done what I really need is somewhere where I've got a decent view of what's coming I mean the thing is anything comes at me here do I have any kind of uh, escape route other than straight down and death not really no uh, there's only one direction that danger can come at me from and I think even a Bronto might have a little bit of a difficulty uh, getting at me over here. However, it's probably not an ideal place and it's not ever so convenient for getting off of uh, as well. I'm going to have to kind of go all the way along and things, but it might be worth, it might be worth considering. I'm going to check out some more little rocky outcroppings around here and see if there's anything particularly... Uh, helpful as well uh, at this point if I get killed by a dino I mean I don't know where I'll respawn but to be honest I'm not sure it makes too much odds because you gotta watch those trikes they uh, sometimes rage and splatter you as well um, for I'm sure there's kind of reasons for it what just happened I don't know I just kind of ended up doing something weird yeah, the, the physics can be a bit weird sometimes. Uh, I can't quite work it out. Sometimes I can jump. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I go backwards. Sometimes you get stuck. It's a bit strange. It's a development walk, can we say. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I don't want to do... I don't know. I don't want to really get killed and then end up somewhere else. But, um, hey, you never know. It might do me a favour, just like the Spinosaur did last night. Not too much in the way of uh, dinos around here, full stop, but that could change at any moment. And the last place you want to build, really, is uh, yeah, somewhere nice and accessible like this. Because while that's convenient for me, it's convenient for the dinosaurs as well. So I don't know what's up there or how I get up there. See, the other thing that's probably going to be... Uh, a good idea is uh, building not in direct sun because direct sun can be a bit too sort of there's a raptor no 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 it's one of those ones with a horn on its head which I will probably learn this game if nothing else is probably pretty good for teaching you the name of various dinos so up here looks like it's gonna be not a good idea because it's just too accessible Got to be dinos running all over the place. Uh, 
I want to say, no, it's not. They're not those, no. I can't remember. I will learn the names of these things probably when they kill me. Um, there's some more rocks here. And a slight slope which I can't get up. Hit this. No, not the tree. Okay. Yep. Cliff edge. I also don't want to uh, take it for granted that any dinosaur can't reach anywhere because they flame the well will, particularly if they are motivated to hunt me down. That's exactly what they will do. And I'm fairly sure there are some sort of vaguely secure locations on the map, but it would be great if I could find one now because that would mean that... Um, there's a dialogue down there. I don't want to tangle with the dialogue because I've got no weapon, no nothing. Uh, yeah, if I could find a fairly secure location now, that could mean that would mean that I could really put my effort into um, into building a base and gathering resources. Uh, you know, in a relatively secure knowledge that nothing was gonna trash it all for me. Now I'm too steep. I can't get up there myself. You're hot. Yeah, yeah. Of course I am. I've been moving. But ideally I could do with... Oh, it's raining. Well, that's going to stop me from being hot, isn't it? Um, I could do with, I suppose, finding somewhere to settle by nightfall because otherwise you have that whole sort of issue with um, being cold all night long and burning through your food supplies. And of course I haven't got too much in the way of food either. Spoiled um, our barrier. Do you know what? No point in gathering these things and not eating them. Uh, we'll eat that. There we go. May as well stock up on the food and just gather as I go. Oh, we have a storm over there. No, we don't. We have bugging out, guys. There we go. No berries left to spoil now. Okay, so I have literally no idea where I am now or or where I started out, but as I say, don't really care. Now that's forest, I don't really want to go over there. If there was sort of a hill to head up, that's kind of what I'd be inclined to do. But I can't see the hills for the trees, <laughs> quite honestly. Oh. Ah, I just found Sprint. But that is largely because I forgot that I was using the control before and I'm actually using the mouse and keyboard now. So with mouse and keyboard, it's actually more intuitive and I've found the Sprint button. This is good. This means that I can actually run away from dinos. Um, I could not find what the Sprint button was on the controller. So, hill, hill. Is there any such thing as a hill? doesn't look like it here. I think you have to head inland for that. Uh, there we go, sprint, cool. Well, that burns through the resources really fast, so I'm not going to do that, not if I can help it. Okay, um, not a clue, and if I do too much more of this, I'm probably going to get owned by something. Do you know what? What have I got to lose? I'm carrying a pickaxe, and that's, that's literally it, so... Nonetheless, look it out for dinos because, yeah, I don't want to... Oh, there's a great big raptor over there. Uh, yeah. They're okay. But these planes here, they're a massive no-no. I am not... I, I, yeah, no. <laughs> there's just no way. They're a major dino spawn zone. It's not happening, so I'm going to stick to the edge of these as I say I think there's a lot to be said at the moment for going uh, it's a big stone sh oh my gosh yeah that goes down a long way big stone shelf here but uh, nothing to stop the dinosaurs from accessing me 
I could put it there, I'd build a base there, I guess, but it's not exactly flat, but I don't think it matters too much whether it's flat or not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep looking till I find somewhere suitable, really. Oh, there's some dilos. I uh, won't go that way then, because they'll, they'll have me at this stage. Uh, this looks like it's just a great big stone shelf anyway, and there are raptors around here, so this is not my ideal. Oh, chuff, is that a dilo over there as well? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're going the other way with my newfound sprint. Although it's quite annoying, that puff pant. Always bugs me in games. <laughs> yes. It's realistic, I suppose, and it tells me I'm sprinting. So there's another dilo over there. Oh, look, a stegosaurus. That's the first steg I've seen, actually. You're hot. It, it's raining on me. It doesn't seem ever so likely that I'd be hot. Okay. Stegosaurs. There's a dilo. Oh, yes, I know. Uh, stegosaurs wouldn't want to mess with one. Wouldn't want to mess with any of these dinosaurs at the moment, but I think a stegosaur, unless I really, you know, rile it, it should be fine. Again, wouldn't want to settle in forest, much as part of my human brain now says forest, good, yeah. Uh, forests haven't had dinos in for the whole of human existence. They do now. Uh, <laughs> not really, uh, not really what we're after. There's a lot to be said for forests. Obviously, there's lots of resources. My ideal base location would be, um, I kind of feel like I should be gathering some resources and I will gather some but I don't want to gather too much because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to encumber myself. I want to be able to move. I'm going to need to be able to move. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of resources to be had in. I can't even hit a tree. This is great. Um, lots of resources to be had in a forest but there's, you know, really not the ideal place to build either. Lots of dinos as well. Okay, more planes over there. Sort of a hill over there, but big rocks here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got used to the noise these guys make now. <laughs> it. Oh, I guess. Flint. That's going to be useful also. Got some rocks here. Yeah, ideal base location is going to be where I can access, you know, sort of any amount of, um, just pretty much everything, so not far from water. I need wood supplies nearby as well, but I'd want dino as, 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 as few dinosaurs as possible nearby I guess. You're hot. Yeah, yeah. Always too hot or too cold or something. Okay. I'll get shot of those. Might just stick to mouse and keyboard for the minute, given that I know how to sprint this way. Most, uh, uh, most of the early access certainly games that I've played don't have the option really of using um, controllers, so I'm really just, I'm just not used to it. Not used to being able to. Okay, this is another kind of rocky ledge. Just got a good view, I have to say. might be a halfway decent location. Plus, if I put lights here, I'm going to be able to see uh, my base from a distance. Not going to be able to reach the base myself ever so easily. Um, and it's not kind of right next to water or anything like that. It's a shame I can't sort of mark stuff on the map. 
I can't harvest rock from this because it's permanent rock, which, you know, is probably a good thing, just in case a broadsword does decide to come and own me again. Uh, so, yeah, this, this ledge is, uh, you know, it's not looking bad, actually. I mean, obviously, I don't want to be falling off it, but it seems more secure to me than where I was last time, for example. And, yeah, nothing's going to stop me from uh, relocating again. So I think I'm going to go for this, actually. Um, it's kind of academic a little bit anyway till I get a spawn point. But I'm going to have to hunt a lot of dinos before I can get a spawn point. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. So at the moment, I'm not fancying my chances of that. So I need to make sure that I get bearings on my surroundings and actually know ways of getting myself up here. So maybe what I need to do, one of the first things I probably need to build is like a standing torch up here. Did I learn how to make a standing torch yet? Um, uh, not yet, no, but uh, I, yeah, I hope I can soon manage that. How far off leveling am I? Quite a way back, I need to build a shelter, so sure. There's a dilo. Of course there's a dilo. And how much stuff do I have? I have a campfire, I think, probably there, don't I? Um, do I? What do I have? Can I make a campfire yet? No, because I need more stone than that. That's fine. I do need... Yeah, okay, so obviously we're going to need wood and what have you. Oh, I've got some saber root. I lost... That was one thing I was really really bothered about actually was having lost the um some of the seeds i found because they are relatively rare drop from harvesting from plants and obviously i want to be able to um i want to be able to grow my own and there's uh yeah there's not a lot of point in growing stuff that you can grow on everything else but uh, let's just see what we have up here <coughs> rock obviously um, two flint and more flint um, yes. so this is above my base having decided now where I'm building and there's quite a lot of rock up here so that's good uh, I do want to make sure that I don't lose it it could just be annoying. Metal! Hello! This is a very good place to build a base. Got metal ore up here as well. This is obviously some fairly high up planes. Yeah, we have a raptor roaming around over there. Um, and I'm gonna get some scratch and some wood. thatch there right looks to me like I could do with repairing this if I've got the resources repair okay Okay, but the first thing before I build, you know, make any tools or anything, I'm wanting to build my base. Um, and some boxes to store some stuff. In fact, the boxes might even have to come before the base. But, yeah, that depends because I can't, if the boxes are in the way, I don't know. Depends on how big bits of base are because I don't really want to. Yeah, I need to be able to access my box. That's a fairly narrow ledge we've got there. So I'm going to be a bit careful about how I build on it. I don't really want to be... Um, yeah, walking off the ledge while trying to... Mm -hmm. Okay, could always... Now I've found that spring button, I'm going to be sprinting a lot and burning through my food if I'm not careful. Let's be patient and just... Go at a steady speed here. Um, now, how do I get onto my ledge? There. Don't want to drop down and hurt myself, though. Okay. I 
Even though we've an overhang there. Oh, if it rains, I have shelter. No. Okay, so this is where I first thought of. Okay, uh, I think this is probably wide enough actually for me to put some chests on over there on this end here and then build my base beyond that and that way the chests will be protected by my base so they'll trash my base first which doesn't sound like much of a comfort but um yeah <laughs> it kind of is okay storage box yeah 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 we need a lot more wood for that um but i really do need a storage box before i do no don't run i do need a storage box before i get anything else at all um, because, uh, yeah, because without that, what am I going to do? What? Without that, I'm going to, uh, start losing stuff again, aren't I? So, what's this? This is obviously stone. I think, flint out of those, but I think if I want metal, it's going to have to be the big rocks. That's what I'm going to get metal from. Okay, we need wood. Let's concentrate on getting wood and just get my bearings. Don't want to lose this base now. I've found it. Don't really want to get any more stone at this point. Just wood. shed load to build my base, let's face it. Uh, do I have enough for, no, 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 for a box? No. I need 25 and I've got 40. Oh, it's amazing how much stuff you actually need. And there's bamboo here as well. I don't know what actually gives me bamboo, but at this point I don't really want to over encumber myself with that. Yeah, I'm not going to lose that, am I really? Um, Jesus. I very much hope I'm not going to lose that because... Uh, Triceratops over there. Lots of resources around here, so yeah, this is uh, this is a good place. The whole island could be like this, for all I know. It's a big island, and there's a lot of it to explore. And I haven't been over, you know, I haven't scratched the surface of either the island or the game itself at this point. Oops. That was good. I uh, got a wood without even... I'm going to try this because... Nah, maybe I need a specific implement for that. And this is going to need repairing again. At least I've got the stuff to repair it with, but it's consuming some of my thatch and stuff each time I do it, obviously. Uh, I probably need to make a hatchet, actually, don't I? Let's face it, a hatchet is better for making... Give me a hatchet. A hatchet is better for making, for getting wood, uh, and the pick is better probably for making... Oh, did I get that in my hand already? Oh yeah. Can I cut this with... Hmm, okay, no, I can't. Um, it would be good, wouldn't it, if we could eventually, uh, if we could harvest that. I don't know, maybe I need something else to do that with, I don't know. Or maybe it's just there for fancy. Okay, yeah, this is doing better. I can... Harvest a heck of a lot more wood this way. Uh, why didn't I think of that before? I don't like to answer that question. <laughs> okay, you are hot. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've probably got enough for at least one box now, so... I'm going to go... Oh, oh. Not that way. I'm going to go and put a box on my ledge... Uh, because then, if nothing else, I've got a bit of a foothold. Um, now, what was the way up? Here? Yep. Uh, at least then, yeah, I've got a foothold. I've got some stuff here. Um, just check, I do have... The, yeah, I do. Goody, goody, goody. We'll have that. Okay, here we go. Put that there. And oh, 
No, 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 don't run. Uh, and we'll have that over here. Like that. Whoa! What just happened? It won't place it there. Oh, you're joking! Can I not place it there? Or am I using the wrong button to place it? Why won't it place? That's really stupid. Okay, it keeps disappearing it. Okay, I'll pick up my controller and see if I can do it with that. Oh, I forgot to invert it. Damn it. Place the damn thing. <coughs> ah, finally. I must have been pressing the wrong button. That's really annoying. So why am I going to have to use a half mouse and half this? But uh, Okay, I'm having slight problems here. Okay, here we go. Let's put away some stuff. Especially my heavier stuff. I've got a load of wood so far. Craftables. Do you know what? I can make another one of those, can't I? Let's let's just do that. Um, but I'm going to put away metal and flint um, and I'm going to make another box, even though it takes quite a lot of. Uh, it's one of the more valuable things you can actually make. Just as long as a dinosaur doesn't destroy it. Okay, here we go now. For the next episode, I will look up um, what button you actually use to, or how you actually, pr you know, sort of place these, because um, at this point, just experimenting, no, it, that doesn't work, okay. Uh, let's see, I can't put that there, because, heck, I can get at it if I put it there. Come on, place it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to look up my uh, controls. And this one is going to contain fibre and thatch and my saber roots as well, because they're actually really quite valuable. This one's going to contain my wood. There we go. Fantabulous. There we go, we have made a start. Now, I have zero food, so I'm going to actually gather some food as well. Uh, I am cold, yeah. Uh, I'm going to need some stone, I think, for making myself a fire to keep myself warm tonight. Uh, and I'm going to need some food, so I'm going to go and just gather some berries and things if I can. And I'm going to gather some stone also. Darn it, that's not what I meant to do. And I just, yeah, yeah, okay, I did, fine. Um, but I have nothing to use that for at the moment. And I probably wouldn't use my own anyway, if you know what I mean. Added one flint. Okay. Metal. Okay, we might be into the Iron Age faster than we think here. So that might be a little bit, I don't know, hopeful. <laughs> Fibre's always good, particularly if I want to make myself some trousers again. more stone. Of course the other way of getting stone is just to pick it up off the ground but I don't, I don't, no, I don't find that up here uh, so much. It tends to be on the beach where you get a lot of that. So here we kind of have to mine it a bit more I think. Now of course I'm just kind of ranging away from my, my base here but um, hopefully it's 
just do some random grabs while I'm heading back and hope I've got enough stone to build myself a campfire to keep me warm tonight at the moment I tend to end episodes at the end of the day because it makes logical sense but also um, it's that dark at night that even if you've got a torch you can't see ever so much um, and I can't at this early stage of the game do ever so much at night either so it literally is a bit of an AFK a moment for me I kind of tend to just kind of yeah wander offline uh, wander off and, and do something else while while the night passes okay let's see we have some stone in here I have some stone in there how much stone does it take to build a campfire 16 and I have insufficient probably um, got seven for here I'm gonna need some more stone that to, than that to make a campfire and a torch yeah, I've got enough stuff to make a torch with at least, but uh, I could do with a campfire to make myself some, make myself uh, something to keep warm with overnight. Uh, let me just grab that. We've got eleven. So yeah, I'm gonna. I can't get any of this, obviously. Give me a torch. I need to make a torch. Craftables, torch, 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 flint, wood. Yeah, okay, we need one wood. Voila. And then I've got no wood to actually burn either, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of nocturnal stuff today. Or rather, tonight. Here we go. Just because I don't have what it takes to survive the night otherwise um, eat those berries um, yeah okay so it's dark again <laughs> but I need my pickaxe oh. getting a lot of flint there don't really need flint need stone Okay, that's not the kind of rock I can hit. That is the kind of rock I can hit, but not very easily. And I'm getting flint from it anyway. You're cold. Well, yeah. If I could have destroyed my previous... Damn it previous campfire um, I would have you know done that my previous stuff and brought it with me that's a heck of a lot of flint and no flame and rock what I need stones oh hold up I can pick that up yeah yeah, I can't, of course. Oh, but I need to repair the thing again. It's trashed again. Roll on the Iron Age. Re repair item. I don't have anything to repair the item with. Ah! Oh. Okay, fine. Okay, I can't actually collect any more stuff, which is great, isn't it? Uh... What am I doing? Putting that back in my hand, I think. Let's see. Fibre, fibre. Not sure if I can get any more stone from there. Let's see if I can get some wood. Oh, yeah, I just chopped that tree down.
Okay, how much stone have I got now? I've got 12. Cool, that is... Oh, wait, that's plenty. That is plenty. Give me my torch to light my way. I don't really want to fall off the cliff at this point. Up. And here we go. Level up available. Hmm, random. Not quite sure why or what I did to deserve to, uh, that. All right, now, my campfire, I guess. Yes. I guess I'll put it sort of somewhere where my crates are as well. Um, I suppose eventually I, I'm going to be able to put my um, crates inside my base, but at the moment, not really. All right, we'll just get rid of that for the minute. Um, campfire. Mm, no, I need... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I need some stone and some such. Right. Mm. Oh, hang on. I've only got. Is that tw twelve? That's the only. That's the only stone I've got. Okay. I still can't make a campfire. But you know what? It's just tough. I'm not going to be able to. It's as simple as that. At this point. And there's a load of thatch there, which is fine. Uh, Narco berries and stim berries in there as well. I got some more metal, which is nice. Got some fiber um, and some wood. Okay, so I'm just gonna give up on the idea of making a campfire for the moment. For some reason, I'm stuck on some rock here, and I can't actually uh, gather any of it, enough of it, to make a blooming fire out of. So uh, I'm just going to have to spend the night freezing my bits off, unfortunately. But we can, uh, we can level up here. So um, let's see. Oxygen, stamina, health, fortitude, movement feed, speed, sorry. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to put my... I'm tempted to put weight up, but I actually I want to make my uh, speed go higher as well. Okay, so we can make a skin already, but I'm not going to be able to until uh, I've got some skins. Maybe a bit more clothing. Let's have a look down here. Wooden stuff. Mm, narcotic. Simple bed. Yes. Now, I think I need the sleeping bag first. The sleeping bag first. So we're going to have that. And uh, that I already know. So this one will work kind of permanently. So I'm going to, I need, I can't, I've not got enough for that, but that is going to be sort of next on my list, really. Uh, in the meantime, I might learn how to make myself a shirt. So I've got some clothes on. Anything else we can make for three. Make myself some gloves, maybe, or got all the bits we need for the shelter yeah we do so that's fine okay we'll uh we'll make some shoes maybe then there we go great okay now all i have to do is not starve to death overnight and not freeze to death overnight so uh i'm gonna eat some berries probably all of them then they can't spoil <laughs> Very much looking forward to being able to make myself a fridge. And I'm going to say goodbye to you guys and hope that I can make it through the night. I shouldn't... You're hot. I'm hot. Okay. That's news to me, so I'll put the torch away then. It's obviously not a cold night. I seem to be maybe sheltered here, which is something quite good. I'm glad about that. I can't see a thing, but hey... Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing will kill me while I'm here. And then uh, in the next episode, we can get on with building our actual base. So, uh, I'm hot. Seriously? Really? Why am I hot? Is that a bug? I thought I'd be cold at night. That's quite weird. 
Did I just eat something weird? No, I really didn't. So I have no idea. It's like I'm standing in a fire or something, but I'm really not. So that's quite bizarre. What is this, a volcano? And I didn't notice. It really isn't. So I have no idea. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me in this episode of uh, ARK. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens next time. So please do join me again. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. It started to rain. No, it hasn't. That's some light rays coming through the tree in a weird kind of way. Um, and yeah, let's let's hope that I do rather better than we have done so far in this uh, rather beautiful but rather deadly world. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and uh, keep surviving. And tune in next time when we play Ark. Thank you very much. Bye bye.